On the land that we're standing now, on Old Gibbet Field, Shell started its research activities in 1914. Back then, there was only a small, austerely furnished lab. Nine employees, real pioneers, started writing a special history. The first activities involved paraffins. It was a time that petrol was still an unpleasant byproduct, a product one had to get rid of. But the enormous growth in motorized traffic required ever more petrol and also asphalt. The world changed rapidly and the demand for energy and related products was ever increasing. As a result, the lab grew quickly and the number of activities and pioneers increased. Ever since that first day in 1914, we've been working together as a team to realize things that were deemed impossible. Shell's 100th anniversary here in Amsterdam is not just about history. Above all, it marks a new era of developments. Therefore, we've asked two young researchers to work together with their colleagues to publish an attractive book. After all, it's them who represent the generation who shaped the future of energy through innovation. Well, a book that includes all technological achievements of 100 years of research and development will become much too voluminous. And therefore, we decided to only show a cross-section by presenting 12 different technologies. And with this cross-section, we give an insight in how we move from ID to deployment. And we chose to not only show production processes, but also products, research methods and techniques. Having a, a close look at, uh, at our history uh, really makes you uh, realize that developments that took place like a hundred years ago still impact our, our daily lives. Uh, can, you, can you imagine a, a world without petrol, uh, without roads, without airplanes, without detergents or even raincoats? Unbelievable, right? It really gives me a kick to, uh, to be part of this uh, development and for writing a new chapter of history. I feel proud of what we have achieved here in Amsterdam in 100 years. This book is but a small selection from a treasure trove. I hope you will enjoy it.